Hello there, welcome to the Dallas Cowboys Madden 23 official rebuild. You already know we got this Ezekiel Elliott jersey on. However, the first order of business is to trade this fool. He is severely overpaid. Maybe one time in his career he was worth this much money, but he's $12.5 million a year for Ezekiel Elliott. That is crazy. Tony Pollard is worth $770,000 on a cap it. And you're telling me Ezekiel Elliott's like 15 times better than that? Yeah, right. Ezekiel Elliott is definitely way overpaid. So we're gonna see what we can get for Ezekiel Elliott. We need some picks. Definitely need quarterback help, but that's a different story. Let's go and see if we can't get um, a wide receiver. Oh, let's go to the Colts. Got some good receivers. I like Michael Pittman. Michael Pittman's definitely a number one. Done deal. So we're trading Ezekiel Elliott to the Colts for Michael Pittman Jr. That's an upgrade even without the cap. Get this jersey off of me. Get that out of here. All right, the second order of business is getting Dak Prescott out of here. I know Dak Prescott, oh, he's so good, blah, blah, he's an 89 overall. He was a very good college quarterback, but as far as a pro quarterback goes, he is very middle of the road. So we're gonna need to get some picks back for him because we need to rebuild at the quarterback position. The Seahawks got two first round picks. Let's see if they want Dak Prescott for two first round picks. They do. Okay, so we got two first round picks for Dak Prescott. I'm happy with that. Two very high first round picks with the Seahawks. The defense is pretty solid. Demarcus Lawrence is really good. Dante Fowler Jr. is solid. These are okay. I mean, they could be better, these three, but that's uh, not the most of our concerns. This guy is good, Leighton Van Der Esch, but he gets hurt all the time. Jabril Cox is not bad. Micah Parsons is a stud. This guy's overrated, but I mean, he makes plays, but he also gives up a lot of yards, so, you know. Malik Hooker, not bad. Jaron Curse, not bad. All right, let's see what there is on the cornerback market on the trade block. Emmanuel Mosley's pretty solid, especially for $3 million. But Trey Flowers, big corner, I like that. Let's see what they want for Trey Flowers. Maybe we'll go Trey Flowers straight up for the fourth corner, Kelvin Joseph, even though he's only 22. I know, let's go with Anthony Brown. Anthony Brown sucks. So I will add a pick. Maybe a seventh rounder will do it. All right, so we're trading Anthony Brown to the Bengals with a seventh round pick for Trey Flowers. Trey Flowers is, they're the same overall. He's a little bit bigger. He's a little bit better of a player in my opinion. And we're shedding off like $4 million in cap. So let's sim to the regular season. Maybe some injuries happen. We're gonna have to fill those holes because we ideally want to win the Super Bowl in season one. I don't think that's gonna happen because we traded our two main offensive players and we're gonna need to use those three first round picks we have to get a quarterback probably so let's adjust our depth chart and go from there so our wide receivers are insane cd lamb michael pittman jr and michael gallup that's insane tight ends don schultz not bad tyron smith is super good but he gets hurt all the time he's hurt in real life already tyler smith he's young he's all right bite as he's okay zach martin probably the best right guard in the league and Terrence Steele. They let Lyle Collins go to the Bengals, so they must be pretty confident in him. Our D-line's pretty good. Could be better in the middle, but everything always could be better. All right, so these are the prospects. Ross Patchett, 6'1", 229, kind of small. Brandon Corcoran, 6'5", 223. Favored him, favored him, favored him, favored him. So we're favored in all the top quarterbacks in the top 10. It's like four guys. We got our scouts assigned. Got our prospects favorited. And we're still an 80 overall, so that's pretty good. Let's advance a week. We'll probably lose this game, but I just want to see how we do against the Buccaneers, because the Buccaneers are really good, but I just want to see. We won! Incredible. How did that happen? We'll score that game. How do we win? Cooper Rush throws for 325 yards and three passing TDs. Tony Pollard, 17 carries, 55 yards. What about our top receiver, how they do? Michael Pittman, 124 yards, two receiving touchdowns, which is second in the league and seven catches. So the trade to get Michael Pittman for, my, for Ezekiel Elliott is already a plus. Ezekiel Elliott wouldn't have done that. So let's just send to the midseason because I like our moves so far. We got rid of Dak Prescott, who is severely overpaid and injury prone. We got rid of Ezekiel Elliott, who is past his prime and severely overpaid, even more than Dak, which is crazy because Dak wanted like $45 million a year. All right, so at the midseason point, we're four and three, right before our bye week, which is not the worst. Let's do some negotiations because we got a couple players ready. Uh, let's negotiate with Don Schultz. He's solid. Let's take him. Four years, five million. I like that. Let's make the offer. Tony Pollard. Definitely want to keep Tony Pollard. Five years. Let's go five million. Or three years, five million, actually. What does he say? All right. Solid. Leighton Vander Esch. 
Might want to trade Leighton Van Der Esch. Let's see what there is, because he gets hurt a lot. How about a little DeAndre Swift action? Maybe Leighton Van Der Esch or DeAndre Swift. They'll probably say no, but what if they don't? So they said no, let's throw in a pick since we got a bunch of picks. How about for a, a fifth rounder as well? That'll probably say no, but doesn't hurt to ask. Done deal. All right, so we're trading Leighton Van Der Esch and a fifth round pick next year for DeAndre Swift. So we're basically trading Ezekiel Elliott and Leighton Van Der Esch for DeAndre Swift and Michael Pittman Jr. That's insane. Go to the playoffs. Let's see if we make the playoffs. I like the moves we've made so far. We got Cooper Rush at quarterback, who's apparently tearing it up. But overall, I think trading Dak, trading Zeke Elliott, trading Leighton Van Der Esch, those are cornerstone type players for the for, for the franchise. But I mean, they're not going to get it done at their current state. So I think making those moves is definitely beneficial for the team. So I like that. All right, so we went 10 and seven and we're in the playoffs. We got a home, home wild card game against the Washington Commanders in our division. That is crazy. I did not think we were gonna make the playoffs. Look at that. Trade Dak, trade Ezekiel Elliott, trade Leighton Van Der Esch, and the Cowboys get in the playoffs. You have all three of those guys and you can't make it in real life. Let's see if we can't get a wild card win, huh? Advance in the playoffs. All right, they lost 41-27. All right, so it's advanced to the off season. So let's go and re-sign our players. Players ready to negotiate. We got quite a few. Tristan Hill, sure, let's give him a chance. Let's take him. One year, two million. Terrence Steele, uh, hopefully he's a backup for us. Oh, Cooper Rush, of course you're coming back. You took it to the playoffs, buddy. All right, let's go into stage one of the off season. See what we can do in free agency. Improve this team. Jimmy G, might be a cowboy in real life. Uh, how about a tight end? Solid tight ends to make our tight end room a little bit better. Tunyon, I like Tunyon a lot. Let's just throw an offer out to Tunyon. Throw an offer out there. If we get him, we get him. If we don't, we don't. Let's go Bulaga. Let's go one year, four and a half million. He's old, he gets hurt a lot, but I wouldn't be mad with him. He's an upgrade over who he got. I like Jordan Phillips, he's humongous, 6'6", 341. That's all my franchise team, if you watch my franchise. That comes out every Friday. Leighton Van Der Esch, so we got rid of this guy, and he's a free agent anyways. That is a great move, that's an NBA type trade. K1 Williams, solid player. Let's throw an offer out to K1 Williams, one year, three million. He'll probably take that, I would think. I like the offers we sent out, and if people say no, we're all right. So we got Robert Tanya, we got Brian Blog, we got K1 Williams, I like that. Go one year, 5.5 million to Jimmy G. And let's sign Andy Janovich, if we can. I mean, Jesus Christ, this guy wants money, he's a fullback. So we got Jimmy Garoppolo for five and a half million dollars. That's pretty good. All right, let's see our recap of free agency. Let's see who we got. So we signed Robert Tanyan, beef up that tight end room a little bit. We got Brian Bulaga, solidify our offensive line. That's pretty good, even though he's old. We got him for one year. We got K1 Williams, sweet slot corner, only for $3 million. That's super worth it. We got Jimmy Garoppolo, just in case one of these quarterbacks we're gonna draft does not hit. Uh, Jimmy's a solid option, better than Cooper Rush and probably just as good as Dak Prescott. So I'm not mad at that at all. I like what we did in free agency, I'm not gonna lie. Pretty good. Now let's go to the draft. We are in the draft, what picks do we have? Oh, our first pick is number 19. How do we trade? So we have traded for the number one overall pick. We traded two first rounders this year, 32 and 19, and next year's third round pick for the first pick in the draft. So we are now officially on the clock. We're taking Ross Patchett with the number one overall pick. Good deep bag seat. Solid medium, solid short, or really good short, really good under pressure. We are gonna take him. Look at that throw power, 95 throw power, 80 acceleration, 86 change of direction, 82 speed, 84 agility. I did not know he could run like this, holy cow. I think we just drafted the guy. All right, so we're trading our 21st overall pick for the 26th overall pick, and we're trading this year's third rounder, next year's fourth rounder for next year's second round pick, just so we have a little more firepower for the uh, regular season trading. Probably gonna have to trade for a player. All right, let's see who we got in the draft. We got Ross Patrick, who we drafted. He's a 77 overall, which is pretty good first round first overall pick 77 overall that's pretty good i like that let's see what his stats are 95 throw power 85 short accuracy 75 mid accuracy 81 deep accuracy 89 throw on the run 79 under pressure 85 break sack 77 play action that was a great pick i'm glad we traded for the first overall pick patch it gary polo and our superstar tony Pollard, deandre swift tanyan's our fullback okay good signing michael pittman's our number one cd's our number two gallup 86, 87, 85. I think we're gonna make a run here, boys. 96 left tackle. Tyler Smith got a little bit better. Martin, solid still. Right tackle, how are you? Belaga got a little bit better. So our O-line's significantly better. We didn't do much on the defensive line. Just let them develop. Our linebackers are not good. This is not bad. So we're gonna trade for a linebacker. Let's go through the preseason. Cause we don't want to trade for someone and then he gets hurt. Let's trade for somebody in the regular season. Get us a linebacker, cause I think our team is pretty 
Be solid. Any free agents out there that we can sign that can fill our, our holes? Julio Jones? I think we have to sign Julio Jones, right? All right, so we signed Julio Jones as our fourth wide receiver. I am balling right now. Very happy about that. Dante Hightower? I don't mind having Dante Hightower. He's not that fast, but we have Micah, who covers a lot of ground. And Quan. Let's sign Quan too, if we can. He's fast. Hot boys, let's go. So we solved our linebacker problems. Like, Right there. Him to the midseason. I think we're uh, pretty solid, if you ask me. All right, so we're two and five. That is insane. So our offense is an 88, our defense is an 80. 84 overall. Why are we so bad? Is it just because we're the Cowboys? How is our team doing, statistically? Second in passing yards. What's the problem there? 31st in rushing, so we don't run the ball a lot. He's 31st in carries, unless we're split in time pretty heavy. Third in the NFL in receiving yards, second in catches. Why are we so bad? We're balling at wide receiver. Five TDs, four TDs, six TDs. What is going on? How about the defense? Quan's leading us in tackles. What are we doing in sacks? Five, three, two, one. How about picks? Trayvon's got five picks, that's it. We're significantly better talent-wise this last year. Maybe we're just in high-scoring games. 31-36, we lost, so one possession game, one possession game. We won a one possession game, we lost by 10. Won a one possession game, lost by 10, lost by 10. So we're in high-scoring games, we can't stop anybody. This is the problem, giving up way too many points. I think that means time to get a trade. So we are trying to beef up our defense because we can't stop anybody. So we're gonna trade one of our first round picks this year, one of our second round picks this year, and our third round pick this year for Chase Young. I think that's totally worth it. Players are better than picks. Especially when you're on the cusp of greatness. Even though we're two and five, and we're much better than a two and five team. Now we got Chase Young and D-Law rushing the passer. 92, 90 coming off the edges. I like that a lot. And we got Mike Parsons. Hopefully that can get us more wins. Let's send to the playoffs. Hopefully we make a push for the playoffs because now we have an 88 offense, 83 defense, 83 overall. And we added Chase Young. We should be better than two and five in the back, but even if we go five and two, that makes us seven and seven. And if we win the next three, we go 10 and seven, which is just as good as we were last year with Cooper Rush as our quarterback and no Chase Young. We didn't make it. All right, how did that happen? Second in passing yards, our rookie quarterback threw for 41 touchdowns and over 5,000 yards. DeAndre Swift had 12 rushing touchdowns. CeeDee Lamb was 1,500 yards and 105 catches. We were eighth in offensive yards, 28th in defense. Oh my God. So we were eight and nine, we were less than 500. That's crazy. Let's go to free agency. We got a lot of money in cap space. Let's see if we can uh, do something. So we need to focus on defense here. All right, let's try to go for Rashawn Gary, the 92 of roll. Just make the offer. That'll leave us with $16 million left in cap. Patrick Queen, what do you want? Which brings us down to 12 million in cap. John Johnson is an 85. I guess we can throw money at him, see? That brings down to one million. All right, so let's see if any of those guys sign. I think those are solid things. We need to upgrade our defense. Those are all upgrades on defense. We got Rashawn Gary and Patrick Queen. That is solid. A 92 on the edge and a 78 middle linebacker who's young and fast. I like that. So we stayed good there. We got better at middle linebacker. We got way better on the edge. Now we got three great edge rushers and Micah Parsons and Malik Hooker and Patrick Queen. It's pretty good. I'm not mad at that. Our defense should be a lot better. Let's go to the draft. What pick do we have? 13th pick. Quarterback's now an 81. We got two good running backs. No fullback. Got three really good wide receivers. Good left tackle. Solid left guard. Center needs work. Right guard, pretty good. Regressing a little bit though. He's still 96. Yeah, right tackle needs work. Defensive ends are solid. Outside linebacker really good. Middle linebacker good. Outside linebacker good. Corner, third corner probably needs a little help. Safety's all right. Okay. So we all know where we need help. Let's draft a guy. Right tackle. 6'8", 335. Let's see what his physicals are. Decent athlete. Let's take him. Justin Sherman, welcome to the Cowboys. Look at our recap. How was our right tackle that we picked? Please, be good. 72, that's all right. How are you blocking? 75, 75, 72, 72, 76, 66, 81 in lead block. Okay, so you're solid. You're, you'll be all right. Look at our lineup in the preseason. Super solid offense. 81 quarterback second year through 5,000 yards. Running backs are solid. Wide receivers are super solid. 87, 90, and 86. Good tight ends. Defense, where we spent a lot of money. Middles, eh, 76s. 91 on the edge, 91 on the edge. 77 at corner, 88 at corner. 79 at safety, 77 at safety. 92 at outside linebacker, 78 at middle linebacker, 93 at inside linebacker, or outside linebacker. We should really be doing good on defense. All right, so our team is an 88 on offense, 84 on defense, 86 overall. Going into year three with the Dallas Cowboys rebuild, the final year of the rebuild, I think we should make a run at the championship. I mean, our team is super good. 
jump to the middle of the season. All right, so this year we are now five and two at the midway point, which is much better than last year, two and five. Let's look at the stats, how we're doing. Fifth in passing, well, about 2,000 yards, 13 passing touchdowns, 16th in rushing for DeAndre Swift, seven touchdowns for CeeDee Lamb, that's pretty good. Second in points allowed, that's a much better team. Lost in a high scoring game to the Giants, 33-38. Dominated the Washington Commanders. One on one possession game with the Steelers. Beat the Falcons on the road. Beat the Bears. Lost to the Panthers. Got schooled at home. Beat the Rams. Now we got the Bucks, the Browns, the Eagles. Should go two and one in there. Then the bye week. Bengals, Saints, Commanders. Should go two and one again. Should go five and two to end the season. Let's advance to the playoffs. We're five and two. Please let us make the playoffs. We're in the wild card anyways. We're 12 and five. Let's see how our team did in stats. Second in passing over 5,000. 39 passing touchdowns, which is fourth in the league. So a really good year again. Over 1,000 yards for DeAndre Swift. Six rushing touchdowns only though. That's not that good. 90 catches, 11 touchdowns, 1,200 yards. Fourth in points allowed. That's really good. First in defense yards. So we have the best defense in the league. We went from having like the worst defense or bottom five defense to the best in the league. I'm proud of that. We spent money in the right places. I think we should get through the Seahawks pretty easily, so I'm not worried about it. All right, we have an 89 overall offense, an 85 defense, an 87 overall team. Got one injury, a new one. Broken foot at safety. We are gonna simulate the Dallas at New York Giants. It's only the second playoff game. We don't wanna play it, we wanna play the big games. Even though this is the biggest game, playoffs, winner go home. The curse of the Cowboys. We have the best rush defense in the league. The fourth best points per game. We give up 23 points a game. We scored 28 points a game, which is eighth in the league. Second most passing yards in the league and 10th in pass yards per game on defense. And we lost 38 to 21 to the Giants. I mean, shout out Jidel, but what the heck? More passing yards, they had way more rushing yards, so they're running all over us. They only gained 50 more yards than us. Two more first downs. We gained more yards total. We had two turnovers, that'll kill you. We couldn't convert on third down, they could, and they got fourth down conversions. They were 100% in the red zone, five touchdowns in the red zone, and they had the ball longer. All right, I guess that's how it feels to be a Cowboy fan, but we had an 89 overall offense, an 87 defense, an 87 overall team, and we only got to the second round. It's just not meant to be. So if you want to see me do another rebuild, comment down below what team I should do. Comment down below what I should have done better here. If you haven't subscribed, we are trying to get to 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So help me make that happen. I will see you in the next one. Peace.